Hi guys, how's it going and welcome to VR Essentials. We're live from Singapore where you can get your weekly dose of VR educational entertainment. Today, plenty of news as Pico Interactive become warriors taking head-on Facebook with the Oculus Quest, HTC, potentially Apple, as well as Valve and other brands. If you're new to the channel, very nice to meet you and a big thank you to all our regular viewers and subscribers. Today's shout out goes to Sikiri Video, Michael Lowe and Merck TV. Are you ready? Today's big news is that Pico Interactive have released Pico Studio in trying to lure as many developers as possible to submit their apps into the store so they can cater more to the masses and rival with the Oculus Quest by Facebook, HTC, the future Valve, future Apple and many other VR headset brands. So this is very exciting for the world of VR. Why is this? Well, basically because Pico Interactive have been in the business for quite some time and also Time Magazine voted their Pico Neo 2i as one of the top 100 inventions of 2020. Now, Pico Interactive are based in San Francisco. However, they do cater more to the Asian market, specifically targeting the enterprise industry. Pico are working side by side with various different military bases around the world, as well as launched with, in partnership, XR Health, the world's first telehealth clinic, which was based out of Israel, working with doctors globally. Now, Pico also very recently closed a Series B Plus funding round worth 31.4 million euros or 37.4 million US dollars. Whilst they've been experimenting in developing the Pico Neo 2 for the enterprise market, we know that in not the so long distance future, there will be the Pico Neo 3 that will be set to be released. Pico Interactive are in full swing attracting as many developers as possible to submit their VR apps to their Pico Store. The new Pico Studio initiative launched by Pico Interactive will be launched to target more or less the Asian countries, including China, South Korea, Japan, Southeast Asia, and others. Pico currently have around 400 different titles inside of its store. However, the majority are Asian-based. The current Pico Neo 2 technology is pretty advanced and offers some very decent gameplay, especially when running the apps inside of the Pico itself. It really rivals the comfort of the Oculus Quest and also the graphics of the Quest as well. However, it's going to be tough for Pico as we know that HTC will also be releasing their first ever VR headset standalone, which will also compete with, of course, the Oculus Quest by Facebook. And let's not forget that HTC already have all those relationships and partnerships with various different VR developers across the world with Vivepool. As we had mentioned in one of our previous videos all about the VR trends 2021, we also know that Valve will also be potentially releasing their own VR standalone VR headset as well, and Valve have tremendous following through the Steam platform. And let's not forget that the competition is going to heat up even more as Apple will be releasing their own first VR headset, which will also be a standalone in 2022, under US dollars for one of their models. And of course, let's not forget also that Facebook are preparing to release an Oculus Quest Pro and also potentially an Oculus Quest 3 in 2022 as well. Content growth is going to be king and key to Pico Interactive as we already know that it's been disclosed by Facebook that more than 60 apps have generated more than a million dollars in revenue. We also know that the Asian market is an extremely healthy market to go for as there's already been an annual growth compound rate of 47.7% totaling around 28.8 billion US dollars by 20. 24. By having more apps inside of the Pico store, Pico will also, of course, undoubtedly charge some percentage back to the VR app developers, which will help the company to sustain more revenue growth and potentially make VR more widespread to everybody around the world. Another strategy to boost the content inside of the Pico could be to follow what Facebook have been doing in purchasing various different VR game development agencies. Facebook purchased the very famous Beat Games behind the Beat Saber, as well as Sanzuru Games, the developer behind the Rift game Asgard Wrath. And then we also know, of course, that Facebook purchased the studio behind Lone Echo and various different others as well. So plenty to think about, but very exciting for the future of Pico Interactive, Pico Studio and the VR industry. If you are a developer or know of a developer and you want your app to be submitted to the Pico store, then please reach out to VR Essentials. Our email address is in our About section of the VR Essentials YouTube channel. We'll put you in touch with the Pico team. 